What's going on, everyone? I'm Jeff Harris alongside Jonah Restuccio, and welcome into the Delmarva Sports Insider. It's the only show giving you in-depth analysis to all local sports here on the shore. That's right, Jonah. So tonight's episode really features, yeah. it's the winter time, so a lot of high school hoops, that's right, including the Y High boys who put their undefeated season on the line last night hosting Washington. And the other two Salisbury High Schools, Bennett and Parkside, packing the gym for a huge rivalry game earlier this week. Let me tell you, it did not disappoint. And Jonah, so football may yeah. have ended earlier this month, but we still had one more game to play. Highlights from the Bayside Senior All-Star Game are coming your way later on in the show. Welcome into the show you know and love. As we mentioned, I'm Jeff Harris alongside Jonah Restuccio. Yes. Lots to get to, including some basketball. Mm -hmm out in Delaware, Lake Forest hosting yeah. Laurel, the Bulldogs Huge Monday game. night earlier this week. The Bulldogs in action, as we mentioned earlier this week, visiting Lake Forest in a battle of the Henlopen South, Thomas Hoskins. That's where we're going to start getting Look the energy hustle. up for the Spartans with an emphatic block on the defensive end. And he takes it the other way mm. and finishes with the one hand slam. Then in transition, Jaseem Vasquez finds John Forrest in the corner. Now, Jonah, check this out. He's going to put up the three. Forrest would get fouled in the act of, shoot, act of shooting, so count the bucket four plus the foul, play. completing the four-point play. Bulldogs trying to climb back a little bit in this one. Jerziah Witherspoon picks off the pass and lays it in for two, but Lake Forrest, Jonah, would run away with this one yeah. in the second half. Deshaun Bizzle, love that last name, Bizzle. finds Emmanuel White with a pretty pass. The Spartans outscore Laurel 47-11 to in the second half, taking this one 73-27. Jeff, what a great game that was. And earlier in the week, another one, we know Steven Decatur yeah. and Star. You see him right there. Kevon Boyles traveled the rival Pocomoke in hopes of also keeping their undefeated season alive. He knows there it. he is. Yeah. Boyles in transition, finishing strong for the and one. But on the other end, Pocomoke down 20, trying to claw their way back down in. Tyree 20. Thornton gets the steal off the press and finishes through the contact. But it'll be too much of the Seahawks. John Taylor. Finds himself open in the corner, a spark plug for this team, giving the black and blue some energy. And then who else but Voiles once again finishing in transition nice with move. these two of his game high. Wait for it, 35, 35 points on the night. And then Taylor putting his defender on skates with the spin and fadeaway. Decatur, they stay undefeated with ease over their rival Pocomoke, 94 to 59. You and I could score 35 in a yeah, game. Maybe. Also Tuesday night, though, the battle of the unbeatens in the Henloping Conference as Smyrna and Sussex Tech went head to head in transition. Look at the big man, Nalik Beasley Johnson, running the floor and finishing at the cup. Nice move. Then on the other end, Tech quarterback and now ah, forward, Ricky moves. Kane. Gets past Caleb Matthews and finishes with the double clutch lay-in. Nice move there, but Beasley Johnson, yeah, the hyphenated last name, getting the call again, and why not? Gets the Domination. entry pass and finishes strong for the and one. Smyrna would go into the half up 31-30, just one point. And in the second half, the corner specialist, Jaquan Burton, wow. finds his spot and splashes the three ball. But it would be too much of Smyrna in this one. Caleb Matthews drops in two of his game-high 24 points as the defending state champs Take down the Ravens 75 61. And Jeff, we've been teasing it. It was one of the Look most anticipated matchups of the year here in Salisbury Parkside and Bennett. As I said, a packed gym. The student section is really showing out. But in this game, it was all about Otis Russell hits the rainbow three. Clippers, they would lead 10 to 9 at the end of the first. And then the other way, Tyrese Purnell flushing that one Great home, move. courtesy of Marcus Yarns. But like I said, this one was all about. Otis Russell, now I love this move here, gets the and one through some contact, even he finishes it. with ability. Now, Jeff, check this out. He mouths to his defender, you can't guard me. But Bennett, they would lead at the half, 23-21. But the third quarter, all about Parkside. Khalid Gates slashes his way to the rim for the finger roll. Bennett, they're hanging around, though. Savon Biven says, excuse what me, a sir. Block. None of that. He swats that shot out of bounds in the fourth quarter, all Clippers. There's our man, Montez, Montez. Jeffers. Montez Jefferson scores all seven of his points in the fourth quarter, including that three with just over three minutes to go. And then Jefferson distributing to Devin Bins for the cherry on top triple. Bennett, they win their second in a row, 57 to 50 over Parkside. It was just a lot of hype behind him. That's what it was. We played with these guys our whole life. And I just knew we could win the game. I think we 20 points better than them. We got all to a slow start. First quarter, I took a lot of bad shots. I was like just amped up all day in school. I was just amped up. I was just ready for the game. And then that's when I just let my game come to me, took good shots, and just executed with my teammates. 
I was out at this one, Jonah, Thursday yeah. night. Colonel Richardson taking on North Dorchester mm. on the road. Pick things fam. up first half. See our Jelly Deontay fam. Dickerson cocks this one back and scores. Count the bucket plus the foul for the three-point play. Then right before the half, you see it there. Justin Warner finds himself all alone in the open court. He finishes with the strong lay-in. CR would carry a one-point lead into the half, but second half, all Eagles. Running Jaheim away Cooper. with it. Pushing the ball up the floor, a lot of contact, no foul call, but he drops it in. Then in transition, Devon Dawkins, look at that finish, mm. gets the bucket plus the foul. North Dorchester would take a 13-point lead heading into the fourth, and they would simply close things out. Warner finds a cutting Levante Scott for the two. ND wins big at home, 82-55. Yeah, what a second half run from the Eagles in the big matchup last night. Huge Wide matchup. High, led by Devontae Dixon and Jaden Baker looking to get their fifth straight win. And I just said his name, Jaden Baker. Look at this pin block on the fast Nothing. break. He, and then the other way, matter. spots up from three. There it Nothing is. Nothing but net. Same Cares position, that one. great hustle there by Baker. Washington, though, would lead 17 to 15 at half. And then the scoring machine, He's Josh Stroll, throwing it down with two hands. In transition, Sproul just a scoring machine all season long. But why hide? They would answer this with a dunk the play of their of the own. Devonte Dixon, mm, give me up. some of that. D Dixon, he would carry a 40-36 lead into the half for why high, and then Sproul once again with the behind the back pass, just pretty basketball here. And then Jeff, I don't know how this one went in. Baker with the circus kind of shot with the left hand on the right side. Just beautiful move by Baker. And then Dixon, he's going to finish strong at the rack. Why high? They remain unbeaten and they top Washington at home 86 to 80. Uh, they played uh, real close, real tight. So we try to spread spread and move the ball a lot. Second half, uh, they played a little loose. So we try to get inside, get more. And they were, uh, they had foul trouble. So we try to get the ball to the um, basket to get to the free throw line more. What a player. He's only a sophomore, yeah. but also happening last night. Snow Hill on the road against Mardella. Pick things up second half. Mardella's sincere Pinkett with sincere a nice move, move and finish sincere getting move. himself to the rack. Pinkett would sit out the rest of the first quarter, though, but a few possessions later, Pinkett with a beautiful backdoor cut to get himself to the hole. That would give the Warriors a one-point lead. But that's when Snow Hill would kind of respond in this one. Amir Fisher gets pie or gets past his defender with ease and knocks down the baseline jumper, giving Snow Hill the lead. And then a few plays later, Curtis Blake with the beautiful dish off to Stoyle Calborn, who finishes at the rim. Snow Hill now up by five. And just for a little good measure, why not Zaire? Or in transition, Zaire Johnson. Look at that kind of mm. alley-oop yeah. to Drew Housen. That would be enough for the Eagles as they take this one 69-55. You know, I was at that game, and he threw it up for that alley-oop. I was like, where's the guy? And yeah, then Drew right? Housen kind of came so out, of come out of nowhere. out of nowhere and just like dunk it, but... We, know, we saw enough dunking in yeah. that Y High that was and crazy. Washington game. Like We're actually going to have game. more Washington, though, just then. They're in the Chesapeake yes. tournament a little bit later on tonight. They were yeah. playing uh, out there at Chesapeake College mm -hmm. about an hour and 10 minutes yes. away. But as promised, as we mentioned, lots of local high school hoops, but we're not even close to now, Joe. No, not. not even a little bit. When we come back, it's the girls' turn. Don't go anywhere. DSI will be back in 90 seconds. I am Kevon Woods from Stephen Decatur High School, and you're watching Delmarva Sports Insider.